The first app I want to show you to help you become a Mac Power user and increase your productivity is a clipboard manager app called Paste. If you've never used a clipboard manager, you're really missing out. So as we get started, let's talk about the benefits of using a clipboard manager. What a clipboard manager does is it allows you to copy multiple items and then paste multiple items back. That might not seem like a big deal, but when you're copying and pasting from one place to another, it can be really a hassle to go back and forth, back and forth to copy and paste, copy and paste. Whereas with a clipboard manager, you can just copy three to five things or more and then go to your the place where you want to paste it and then paste all five of those things. It just speeds you up a whole lot. And the other thing is you'll never lose something that you copied. Because if you're like me, you've copied something and you think it's on the clipboard and you can paste it. And a few minutes later, when you go to actually paste it, it's not there anymore. And then you have to go and find the place where you copied it. And that's not always the easiest thing. So those are a couple of benefits of a clipboard manager. And we'll take a look at that. We'll take a look at specifically using the Paste app. And within the app, you can create pin boards or groups of saved clips. Finally, Paste also has an iOS app and you can sync things that you copy on your Mac with your iOS device. So this is really handy when you want to copy something on your Mac and then go to your iPad and then paste it. You can also do the reverse and copy something on, say, your iPad and then come to your Mac and paste that in there. This course is focused on the Mac, so I'm not going to show you the iPad and iPhone sides of this app, but just know that it's there. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so I'm here within Set App and I'm going to install Paste. Now that Paste is installed, we have a couple of options here. We have an activation shortcut, which by default is Shift Command V. That's a good shortcut to keep because Command V is our normal paste function. So if we just add the Shift key, we're going to activate paste. History capacity, we'll keep it a month. iCloud Sync is on. iCloud Sync is what paste will use if you want to sync your copied items across your Mac to your iPhone or your iPad. And Launch on Startup is a good thing to turn on so that you always have access to Paste. I'm going to click Done. Now that we have Paste installed, let's try it out. So I'm here on the Apple website. and I just want to save a few of these paragraphs of text. So I'm going to click and drag to highlight it. And then I'm going to push Command-C to copy. Okay, let me copy a few other paragraphs. And let me click on the P up here for paste and let's see what it's done. So I've copied these three little snippets of text. What I appreciate about paste is it's a beautiful app. It, it's just really nice when you copy things and you've got these icons and labels and things like this. But now I'm going to want to paste this somewhere. So let me open up a text edit window just so we have some place to paste these texts. Okay, so I've got a text edit window. And I want to paste these items in here. So I'm going to come up here and click on the P. It brings up the clipboard manager. And I'm going to, just going to double click on one of these blocks of text. And it pops in there. I'm going to use the shortcut, which was Shift Command V. And I'm going to paste in another one. And one more time, Shift Command V, paste another one. So just with this quick demo, you can tell how useful it can be to copy multiple items and save them in a clipboard manager and then come back to them later. Let me show you another feature in Paste. So I'm going to activate Paste. Here we've got a pin board. So let me click on this one. I've got a couple of links that I've saved and these will always be available for me. So I want to create another one. So let me click on this plus to create a pin board and I'm going to call it Mac OS. Okay, and I'm going to right click on this and change the color. And let me go back to the clipboard history by clicking here. So these three snippets of text, I want to save them. They all have to do with Mac OS. So I'm going to click and drag them in here. And you can see that they change colors to purple because that's the color of this pin board. And if I clicked on the pin board, you can see that I've got these three things saved here. 
So that's a very useful feature to kind of organize and save some of the things that you've copied. And this is more for long-term storage. Let me show you the last feature of Clips, which is syncing between devices. Okay, I'm here on the Paste website. I'm not going to demo for you copying and letting it sync over to the iPhone or the iPad. Using iCloud Sync, anything you copy on any one of these devices will sync to the rest of the devices. This can be really useful if you're the kind of person who jumps between different devices and maybe does some web surfing on the iPad and wants to copy a few things and then come back to your Mac to work on it. So with this quick demo of Paste, I hope you can see how much more productive you'll be and how much more efficient you'll be by using a clipboard manager. We're just getting started jumping into the set app apps and I hope you're excited to keep going.